I actually had a dream about you last night, um, and nature and this rock wall that I walked on, and it was just, it was serene, and it felt like you were near, and I wanted to stay there for forever. So I, I walked that rock wall, and I, uh, I eventually sat down and realized that you were in the clouds. There's a smoke signal hiding behind all of it, and. I thought that every time that it rained, you soaked into the ground and became flowers and... She talked about you like you were never coming back, or as if you moved on already, but I knew something she doesn't. That you're still around as Flora. You became a plant, the sweet scent of a little white flower. No one can tell because you moved too slowly, inching at an hourly rate to get a sweet taste of solar energy, and you bloom, and you grow, and you sway in the wind, and today I was going to prove it. I knew I could find you in a greenhouse, but you were buried by the smiles of a million other flowers, each one spreading their petals wide and bright and happily wishing that today was the day for their chance at resurrection, but I was looking for you, the only thing I've ever truly missed. So I searched and searched each vessel of soil in search of a memory of you, like when we spent nights drinking and dreaming about who we'd eventually become. And back then, I would have never guessed you'd be a flower, a little thing I care about, not knowing that you won't last through winter. You die in the cold, and I'd be left waiting till spring till I could find you again, and I'm happy to say that I did. There's a bushel of petunias bursting from their plastic container. Realized that you were in the clouds. There's a smoke signal hiding behind all of it, and I thought that Every time that it rained, you soaked into the ground and became flowers, and so I ate those flowers. And I just... I'm not sure. I, I, I think I thought that there was a little bit of you in the flowers, so when I ate them, I'd have a little bit of you with me, so... 